I'm doing my best! <laughs> Are you there, God? I'm doing my best! <laughs> Are you there, God? Everybody, Penguin, thank you. You freaking little sweetheart, you. Thanks, Penguin. That's so kind of you. Yeah, everybody thank Penguin. Hopefully, if uh, Boy With The Joint stops by at some point today, make sure he thanks you as well. It's so nice to see everyone. How's everybody doing? Um, Taters stopped by my house yesterday. And we played a little bit of a tabletop game called Descent, Legends of the Dark. And uh, it was a thinly veiled excuse for him to give me my birthday present because it is my 30th birthday tomorrow. I'm not going to stream tomorrow, though, but tomorrow is my 30th birthday. And so what better way to celebrate being a real adult than build a Lego set? <laughs> Thanks, Penguin. Thank you. <laughs> what better way than to build a Lego set? So he got me the Medieval Blacksmith Lego set, which is super cool. Um, I am very into this type of... Here, let me put my hand here so it doesn't shine quite as brightly. Um, I'm really into Medieval Renaissance stuff. Um, it's one of my favorite periods of history to look back on and romanticize about. Obviously not actually... <laughs> not actually like hey it was great when no one had any rights and kings ruled everything wasn't that fantastic uh also healthcare didn't exist um but it is a fascinating time in the world's history and i really like the industrial nature of it uh like the pre-industrial age industry if that makes any sense but i really like it where are we going to display this? That's a good fucking question that I don't have an answer to. We might have to add a shelf in our dining room somewhere. Because it would fit in thematically in our dining room. Um, so we're going to build this today. This is part of the Lego Ideas line of products. Which means a like Lego community member designed it. And it got like a bunch of community feedback. Lego reviewed it. And then they decided to make it a product. So... That's my understanding of the process. I'm not like like super in with the Lego community. It's been a while since I built a Lego, uh, but it is one of my favorite things in the world to do. It's been a while since I built a Lego because they're expensive, because <laughs> they're very expensive. Um, but Taters was uh, generous enough to give me this for my birthday. So shouts out to Taters. And I thought it would be a nice change of pace from the normal video game stuff that we do. Um, also, I apologize for how shitty my face cam looks versus I'm using my nice camera so you can all see my fat sausage fingers in high definition, 1080p. Um, my short fat sausage fingers. God, look at that, right? It's like a, it's a large hairy baby is sticking its hand on this box. It's disgusting. My hands are gross. Um, I like George Costanza hand model level. It's real rough. Yeah, it says 18 plus for a save. Yeah, uh, 2,100 pieces. Not too shabby. Um, it comes with some really cute minifigs. Check this out. You got a couple knights, the blacksmith, a hunter, the horse, and most notably, this fucking cute little husky boy right there. Right, let's get it without a ton of glare on it. I think that's impossible. There we go. So... I'm excited. I'm excited for this little cutie right there. Um, it does have a light brick for the forge, which is pretty cool. It's battery operated light brick. Um, there is a uh, there's like a, like a third party organization creates um, lighting kits for Lego sets, and there is a lighting kit for this set. It's seventy five dollars though, so. Maybe someday I'll get that, but not today. Uh, today we're just going to build it. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So, 
let's jump into it. I have all the bags separated out already. Um, as you can see, I have the instructions, so you guys can kind of see where I'm at in the build up in the top right of the screen, up uh, over there. And um, yeah, actually, I'll real quick. I don't want to show you too much of my home, but I have all my bags in order laid out right here, just so y'all know what we're looking at. Uh, there we go. That looks good. Okay, so let's kick it off. I'm going to bring up the instructions. I have chat and stuff on my iPad, so I'm going to bring up the instructions for me, poor moi. Um, okay, so bags one through five are the base of it, six, seven, and eight are the second story, and nine through 14 are the top floor, um, and that's kind of the order in which we will proceed. So, without further ado, uh, I have scissors, which is good. Also, I should probably bring Streamlabs over here so I can still make sure that I'm like still centered and doing everything on camera versus off camera, which would be a real waste. Alrighty. This, I've never done a stream like this before, so hopefully I'm able to, like, have it so that you guys understand what the hell's going on. Alright, um, so it looks like How does it want us to do this? Okay. And so we get those pieces out and then bag one right here. I know you can tear the bags, but I'm always afraid I'm gonna like tear a bag open and it's gonna explode and the pieces are gonna go everywhere. So I'm always permanently terrified of that option happening. All right, a couple of sub bags, so we'll be careful with those. All right, so first things first, let's make our uh, blacksmith. He gets his totally dope beard. Come back down. The question being where his beard is, it's probably yeah, it's in this little mini bag here, I think. There we go. Oh, what a wonderful looking beard. Look at that. Look at that little beard thing right there. Oh, that looks tremendous. Um, okay, that is the wrong head. Unless he has two faces, he does. He has two faces. Oh, there we go. That looks fantastic. Terrific. And he needs his hammer. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that fantastic looking fella right there. Terrific. Step one is complete. We'll put him, let's set him up right here. Alrighty, this is our little brick pry apart thing that I've never actually used before. Um, all right, so we're gonna start the creation of this. Sure we are. Alrighty, we grab one of these bad boys and we grab our circle. Terrific. All right, and there is a black piece that goes in the middle. Oh boy, it's a lot of pieces. The thing I'm noticing about this build versus like Lego builds that I've done in the past, um, and it's been a while, but ones that I've done in the past is that um, like this one, there's a lot of like super hyper detailed pieces involved um like a lot of small pieces coming together to create a thing oh okay when you did the christmas one all right so we got this bad boy right here yeah like 
Like these tiny little pieces, these little flat circle pieces, like, good lord. So how's everyone doing today? Everyone having a good day? People have a good Memorial Day week? I hope so. go and one of our three bees all right good that's that step two right there looks accurate all righty and then we grab one of these puppies from over here interesting i see so we're poking off by one yep okay go yeah and another one of these bad boys oriented just so there we go ah here we go and then we take our long brown piece here and all of those snap into place terrific I'll try and orient it so it makes sense with you guys. There we go. Okay, so this one we need one of these. That's how I should probably do this, right? Like they give you this nice box up here that shows what you need. You should probably like assemble all of those for each step at the start of it. Probably a little easier to follow along and makes it so I won't get confused or lost. Okay. Okay. You're jealous. <laughs> it is very satisfying. I agree. Yep, that all looks good. There we go. Boom. Alright, steps four and five complete. Alrighty, let's see here. So this one, we're just... Popping that on the end like so. Alright. Oh, the way this one's got a lot of small pieces involved. So we need this guy. Need one of these. Our dark gray piece here. Um, I apologize if I get confused on some colors sometimes because uh, the color of like, my, the TV that I'm currently looking at it on is a little blown out, so I might get confused when it comes to colors. Especially black and gray. Alright. So again, these are kind of poking off the edge. Seven are done. So, three, four, five, six, it's this piece. Very good. That just goes underneath. Alright, now we need one of these weird pieces. 
two of the flat ones. Oh yeah, this is good jazz. Thank you, mods. Appreciate you. All right. Now this one, we need that. We need our two remaining long green pieces. Seven of these little baby boys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Two of these. One of those. Ah, I see. Now we use these. There we go. Okay. So. Go like that. And they attach. Like so. Oh boy. Some weird details going um oh it's a little happy birthday song how about that Is that right yeah that looks right how did they know it was my birthday Attach it like so. All right. Here, let's um, we'll move all of the pieces. Whoop. I'm worried about that. There's a little. You can't see it just off camera, but there's a little line in the middle of the table. I need to be careful I don't lose any pieces there. There we go. Thank you, lady, for keeping my chat safe. Okay. There we go. Moving right along. tell which ones they want me to use. 
there are three different colors of green. <laughs> Man, that's hard to tell. Um, comparing... Okay, we don't want the neon green ones yet. We want these. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we got those. One of these bad boys. And two of these, okay. It wants this in the middle, yeah. Hard to tell for sure. I believe that's in the middle of those right there. Just like that. There we go. What's up? How you doing, Sko? How you doing? Alright, and one of these little babies. Little bitty babies. that's where it wants that all right in our long chat over here all righty daddy down on the end and two three Yes, yes. That goes around meow. Look at that. Look at that. Looks terrific. I should scooch this way just the tiniest bit. There we go. A little bit of a better view for you guys. Oh, now we bring the big boy. All right, and this goes right in there. <laughs> like we planned it. It's almost like it was designed. Terrific. It's all coming together. Right. Grab that piece. Four of these. Four of these. The bone. Do these little flowers. Cute little flowers. One of those, one of those. One, two, three. The other five of those. 
and the other two of these. How about that? Very good. We're doubling up. Strategic locations. Just like that, and just like that. Okay, the dog little bone goes right there. That's cute. And these ones got our flowers. It's a good look. of two in between each one. Boom. Step done. Okay. Get a long and a short. One of these. One of these. Ah, one of these fancy brick blocks. These things are very cool. It's a really interesting kind of three-dimensional brick texture. I don't think I've seen these before in... I mean, it's been a long time since I built anything, but I don't think I've seen these before. There we go. That goes rather. That goes here. And our brick goes that side out, and then we get that little piece there. Is this camera angle working out for everybody? Again, I haven't done this before, and I'm trying to build and keep an eye on it at the same time. Hopefully it's working out okay. Get one of these, three more of our little bricks. And one of these. All right, we do straight side out here. Yes. brick side out here. Yep, those are right over that. Goes there. Very good. And then these. Boom. There we are. Eight more of these.
And these are all Brickside out. Oh, it's a little bench. That's cute. At least I think it's a bench. It might not be. someone it's been 84 years since you banned someone all right we get one of these or one of these and a four of these um all right It's like a bunch of coal. That's cute. Look at that. It's like a little pile of coal for the blacksmith. That's adorable. I love that. Playing some Little Witch in the Woods? Hell yeah. That's a good game to play while we're doing this. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have a few extra pieces here. It looks like we have a backup beard if we want... That's just the same beard. It's just a backup. We have some backup pieces here. Uh, and our little doggy poo. God, look how freaking cute this little boy is. Look at that adorable little boy. Look how cute. Holy lord. What an absolute lad. Okay. Bag number two must be opened. got it. You got it, Lego. Alright, I will keep all of my extra pieces underneath my webcam. <laughs> my webcam mount. Let's call that good. Okay. Couple, uh, little extra bags here with our little mini pieces. Oh boy, we got the round pieces now. They're gonna roll around like menaces. I'll lose some of these pieces, I know it. I can already feel it coming. Ah, this is our battery-powered light brick for the furnace. Interesting. Oh, okay. 
this out of my face. Thank you. All right. So. All right, now we have a gray brick piece. Okay. So, go here. Brick side out. Walls are going up. Oh, here's a like a work top surface. Look at this little barrel. Look at the little barrel. Terrific. Absolutely terrific. And this crate? Look at this cool ass little crate here. Oh no, these are interesting pieces. look like little ingots. I know, it's hard to... Yeah. Look like little ingots. Oh, that's totally what they are, too. Oh my god, this is awesome. This looks terrific. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I love that. <laughs> I love that. That looks so good. Fantastic. oven right here. Nice. It's our, oh no, that's a grinding wheel. <laughs> it's a grinding wheel. Oh shit. Right on.
interesting. Huh. That's cool. That is a lovely little grinding wheel. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fascinating. Okay. So there's a little tab in the bottom of this battery block. I pull it, and I assume... Ah, yes, you press that in, and it lights up. That's a nice effect. Very, very bright, though. Holy cow. It's a nice effect. And that goes right there. Oh, and it's got a built-in, like, a little bit of a pulse. I don't know if this will come across in the in the webcam just because of how bright it is, but... Yeah, it's hard to tell for you guys because of how bright. But it has a little bit of a flicker, like a little bit of a pulse. That's very interesting. I appreciate that. Pretty cool. Did I miss something right here? Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing there. And now there's... Oh, I see. I was supposed to pull these two. There was something missing there. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's very silly. All right. Get rid of that little pull tab. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm 
man, there's a lot going on here. Alright. Funky. Let's do it. our little quenching bath that we can thrust the pieces of molten metal into to cool them off quickly. Oh, that's a nice effect, actually. give it a nice glow when the light comes from underneath it. I bet that'll be a nice effect. Interested to see what this looks like afterwards. very good it's hard to tell from from my camera but looks good take my word for it this is a nice looking lego sword too like there's some decent detail on there. Not bad. All right. So that gets set right there, being held out over the flames, which is very, very cool. And then a pair of tongs snaps right in there. Part of the fun about Lego builds is kind of discovering the narrative of the build as you as you put it together. It's very, very cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha 
that is tremendous. What a fun little piece. That's very good. And it goes in. And it goes into there, so you pump the bellows. And it turns the light on. What a fun little thing. Very neat. Oh, I see, we have turned it. I was like, wait, what? Probably what that turn icon means. Turn it, you dummy. All right. Oh, interesting. Two different kinds of brick facings right there to continue that brick line. Huh. the benefit of having double-sided blocks is you can use that to kind of add a little bit very a little bit of variability to the lines so the patterns don't just repeat it's interesting Hearth Day? I hardly know her. Hey, Batman. How are you doing? Oh, God, I need 11 of these. Okay. And that makes 11. Okay. Four piece here. Three length and then seven of these little these are ridiculous. Thanks, Batman. These are like little ends of logs. God, it's so hard to make it focus. I know. It's so hard to tell. There we go. They're little ends of logs. Like sawn logs. Huh. That's ridiculous. Thanks, Batman. How are you doing today, buddy? This one, okay. Oh, four piece. That's fun. Girlfriend's going to be playing D&D for the second time today. Hey, that's awesome, man. Tell her welcome to the club. We're all cool here. We're so we're such cool people in the D&D club. Oh god, and they go sideways to make a log pile. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh. A log pile. That looks terrific. Wow. What a cool freaking thing. 
And that just goes boom right there. Holy cow. That's fantastic. Okay, now we have this weird long piece. Looks like it was probably an animal tail at some point. Okay, that goes here. And this goes here. This piece juts out like so. Interesting. Wonder what that will signify. All right, now we're getting to the tree. There's that large tree on the side. One of those, okay. So our three piece goes here. Two. And like so. And this goes in the front. Huh. It kind of rotates down a bit. Weird long feet. Nothing weird about it, know what I'm saying? It's even covering my webcam. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Thanks for the cat jam, Batman. Oh, we gotta double up these puppies. Okay. And that goes here. Yeah, something like that. Okay. All right. These two and this one. What is this? What is this? I don't know what this thing is. Yes, also happy pride. Thank you, thank you. To you as well. To you as well, my friend. Okay, we got a couple extra pieces there. We'll leave them. I mean, there's an extra... Extra pair of tongs, I guess, could go right there. Why not? Alright, we move on to bag three. Out of 14. <laughs> Out of 14. We're going for an hour. Alright, well. That's the way it goes. Alright. Oh, we got a pumpkin or something? Nice. Big fan of the pumpkin. Alright. I don't know why I opened it at that location. That was dumb of me. Just slide them all over here now. Okay. And our little bags. Ooh, these window pieces look real nice. They're like a goldish, brassy kind of color. Really nice. Had your eye on a model kit. Last was a central part. Was the central perk. Central park. Coffee shop. I um at one point was making a full Lego city, like a full city block. 
but then it's like, where the hell do you keep this damn thing when you're not building it? I mean, this was like, this was just after I graduated high school, so it was like 10 or 11 years ago. Probably 11 or 12, actually, now. Time means nothing. Um, Alright, let me rotate this for my benefit. I apologize, but gotta do what I gotta do. Okay. Alright, we're moving ahead. Two of those. One of these. Okay, I see what these are. Two, three, four. One, two. Oop. Piece of plastic. Three, four. I'm sorry I didn't ask, Batman. Uh, what model kit do you have your eye on that comes out this year? twice. Okay, those go there and there, respectively. Might be making some sort of, sort of a staircase here. I like to look at the build right as I start it and then not look at it until I'm done. And then it's like kind of a nice surprise. See, I did this wrong over here. <clears throat> Looks like it wants me to do that. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Forty-one, 
four of these pieces. These are interesting pieces. More of these ingot looking pieces, but these ones are brown, which is interesting. this four times here. So, I see. So, those places where we have the little... Oh, that's a nice look. Wow. That looks very good. I mean, like, see what I'm talking about? The level of detail in the build? Like, all of these different textures and surfaces. I feel like you just don't get that in a typical LEGO build. I feel like you don't. Alright, put some windows in. Let's go. You gotta be careful because the hole that uh, God, this is hard to do. The hole that the thing sits in, the screen sits in, is not in the center of the window, so it matters which side is facing the front. There we go. Oh, lovely looking windows. Very satisfying. That looks great.
Here we go. This just looks terrific. Very pleased with this. This thing's going to be hard to show off on this camera when I'm done with it. Angle's not ideal. But I'll do what I can to show it all off. together. I would hope so. It's been an hour, hour and 15 minutes. All right. Okay, archway over the door, finally.
There we go. shield, our two pauldrons. Very cool. Okay. Ah, I see. Interesting. and sit kind of loose on there. Interesting. I see. They go right in between. Okay. Sure. cool this is what we're looking at so far on the inside so we've got the little shield the little pauldron display you got a grinding wheel a workbench Ugh. barrel in the corner pile of coal you can see through part of the forge lights up has a nice red glow very cool very very cool stuff a diamond pattern that's pretty neat huh oh because it's gonna make something that looks like an arch over the man over the forge there that is very cool can see where you, know, you got the loose bricks that are kind of come up and make an archway over the forge fascinating build very cool there huh yeah that's a really neat effect I'll show that off in a second Oops. 
Yeah. Look at that. That is a really neat bit of work right there. Very cool. Pumpkin squash? What in the world? <laughs> Look at that little pumpkin! Huh. That's cool. And then we got like a gourd over here or something. Huh. That's fun. There we go. Fantastic. You know, I imagine it gets pretty hot in there, so let's we'll have the windows be open. Alright. I see. Interesting. Okay. Huh. go.
Just really, really nice build. I don't know how many times I can say it. <laughs> this looks good. Okay. never ate lunch that's a shame bag number four. Oh my god there's still so much to do there are four again there are 14 bags holy shit this might have to be a two day process I might have to stream again tomorrow on my real birthday just to finish this thing Again, it's been a long time since I did one of these. Kind of forgot how long it takes. It's very meditative, so you don't really notice how much time is passing. Boy, okay. Do I yell at you if you order something? Not on stream in front of people. I want everyone to think we have a very happy marriage, so. <laughs> no, if you order something, you gotta order me something. If you don't, I will yell at you. I would never yell at you. You're my wife and I love you.
Oh, I like these little diamond details. These are very cool. I like those quite a bit. I don't know. You're the one who wants to order something. So you got to pick. You got to pick, homie. Is a really really nice detail. I like that quite a bit. I'm gonna burger. You're gonna go with Sonic until I said I wanted something. Ah, right, well. You can get Sonic. I will suffer. corner pieces make me nervous because it's all just one loose little post I know I know we'll get something there eventually but oh we're supposed to have four of these a doy Steak and Shake or McDonald's? You can get Sonic if you want. This is what's going to enable the floors to be removable.
There we go. That makes the whole thing much more solid. You don't care which one it is? Um, let's go, let's go wake and bake, baby. Just terrific. Look at that door. Look at that cute little door. Tremendous. Awesome work. Very good. I enjoy that immensely. Uh, what would I like from Steak and Shake? Oh, what a question. Because I don't respect my body, I want the chili five way. Um, yeah, the chili five way and a medium Butterfinger milkshake. That's gonna be a fucking nightmare later. is very cool. Okay.
That is excellent. <laughs> Let me straighten these all out. Just a smidge. Look at that, how it makes the, makes it pop three-dimensionally. That looks very, very good. There we go. Sorry. Perfectionist. Hey, Thunder. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the birthday wish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two. Okay. Moving on to this corner. out. There we go. Okay, moving on to this section. Ah, 
Ah, go above the door. Yep. And above those. Good, good, good. This. Okay. Fleshing out a couple of the plants. Go. That is just. Gosh, those details just look tremendous, don't they? What a design. Very, very good. in the barrel. Oh, this is neat. This is neat. Interesting. Okay. Got a little railing here. Well, sort of. And that goes right in that hole there. Fantastic. Helmet, whatever this is. Oh, it's like a little dummy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. That is an interesting piece. It's a little cauldron that can be on a little swinging bit here. Look for a package tomorrow? Oh, I will. <laughs> okay, Thunder. Thank you. Um, taters, I'm in Columbus. You can't stay long, but how goes the build? Dude, the build is so good. Thank you so much for getting this for me. This has been an absolute treat so far. It's very meditative. It's just been fantastic. Um, let me real quick. Look at this little... Dummy display for the helmet. Look at that little guy. And that goes right here. Yeah, so let me, while you're here, let me show you a little bit of the build. So this is our front door. And it closes. It looks freaking fantastic. We've got the forge. Like, look at all these, like, little details along the thing. Like, Around the edges, there's a little log pile in there. A little garden out back. And the actual forge, you have a bellows that when you push it in is when it lights up. Very cool. And all the interior details kind of hard to show, but you have a little grinding wheel, a little coal pile down there. Got some pauldrons and shield up on display. And I assume these little pieces here are for more swords and other things like that. But it is really freaking cool. 
And I think we're just about to be done with the first section. Uh, and then we'll move on to the pieces that go on top of it. So it's very, very cool. It's a very neat set. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. We're going to be putting all these tools and stuff in all over the place. See. Four, five. Four, shovel. This thing. That thing. A broom. This thing. That thing. Okay. So what are we... Oh, we're making an, a second anvil. Okay. There's a little anvil. Oh, I see. And we have a like a, a hot ingot on it. And that goes right in the middle of the room. Show enough. Yeah, that looks right. Oh, like five rods go in the little barrel in the corner. Okay. Right. Room. Goes there. With a coal shovel right there. Oh god, my fat fingers are not helping me out here. There we go. And an extra hammer. Very cool. A lot of detail. Okay. And we move on to bag number five of 14. Uh, we're doing the tree this time. Ooh, that's exciting. That is a lot of plant pieces, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. A lot of very thin pieces that make me nervous. Okay. I guess let's uh let's put our hunter together. She is. She looking fierce. Hell yeah. Fierce looking hunter. Looking good. All right. Oh boy. Oh, 
interesting. That was in the previous bag. One of our little handles. Made its way into the wrong bag. Okay. Oh, is this a well? <laughs> it's a well! Oh my god. That's the bucket. <laughs> that looks terrific. How does that not just bring you joy? Look at that, the little bucket. A little pail. That's awesome. Yep, and that goes right there. Right on. Very good. Bravo. Okay. a nice detail. Yeah. Huh. Yep, snaps right on. Or whatever jaunty angle on it we want. That's cute. Oh boy, here comes the tree. All right, we're gonna set that off to the side for now. Oh Lord, here comes the tree. Did our jazz music end? Uh, it did. Hmm. You know what? We have... Maybe we move over... You know, we're building, like, a medieval... New fantasy medieval music. Dear God, that's loud. Yeah, there we go. Sure. Get in the mood. see goes upside down like that interesting
There we go. All the way in. Okay. What in the world? This is a bizarre construction, and I don't really see where it's going, but we'll find out together. Side down, that goes here, and this goes like so. Yeah. And that then goes like this. Sure does. This is bizarre. Sorry, I'm building it like totally off camera right now. This is a weird, very weird piece. Okay. Okay. What in God's name? It's hard to tell the orientation of these. it goes like this it's hard to know for sure that seems right yeah or are they anticipating it to be like out to the side yeah I think it's like to the side like that really hard to tell but I think so Interesting. Okay. Now we've got a target on the tree. Okay. Frog, one of these and one of these. All right. So, okay, that goes there with this poking through it. Yep. And the frog sits somewhere up here, like so. Huh. 
weird stuff. I'm sure it'll all look fantastic when it's done. Alright, we'll set that right there for now. Okay, now we grab this and... And then we put another one. Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay. Goes down, and one of these goes on top. Right. That's a loud ass car that just drove by. Jesus. Black one, okay. Then these in a very baffling orientation. Okay, and then that goes on top. Okay. Good. All right, we turn it upside down. <laughs> what in the world? And then we put one of those in. And one of these on top. No? Ah. Goes... I see what I did. This goes in first. Then this goes in. Okay, and <laughs> jeez, I see. These have to go on top of in order for them to stick on there. This is a tree. Can confirm. It doesn't completely make sense to me yet, but I think it will once we start assembling the pieces. Okay. Yep, so that's that. And this goes like so here. All right. Okay, so this can go ahead and go on. I see, that's what those were for. Okay, that is in place. And it's missing all the extra foliage and stuff that I think it gets. But that does appear to be roughly how they want it to look. Shit. It's gonna become harder and harder to hold it up for you guys to look at because of all the extra pieces and stuff. But that appears to be what is in the image. So I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing a okay. Yeah, the targets for the archer. All right, grab one of these and one of these. I need five of these. Five. Two of the darker ones, four of the lighter ones. An apple, hell yeah. And two of these thingamajiggers, okay. On all of these. One, 
two, three. Okay, that would be one. Oh, I actually need to grab six of these. Looked like a five. All right, that's two of them. Oh dear God, okay. So one of them goes like so. Did I do that right? I did not, okay. That goes in there. That goes there. And this one comes out the back. I think. Okay, and then an apple right like that. Oh my god, okay. One of these. Slap one of these on it. Okay, and that goes in the middle there. Sure, sure, sure. Very nice, okay. <laughs> uh, and I need to make four of these. Okay. This is very particular work right here. Delicate work. Because these little spindly pieces are very thin. have little snaps on the end though so you can tell when the piece is nice and snug which I appreciate good feedback Okay.
Oh. <laughs> Smack myself in the face with my mic. Okay. This, this goes in the top. These go on the side. In the back. And then we get an apple. Come on. Oh. Let me grab this, stick one of these on it. Okay, two of them are done. Okay, that is four of those big bushy branch things. Okay, and they each get attached. Like that. How about that? Extra leaf, so I'll throw that up top. There we go. Ooh, doggy. All right. That is the base of our build here. 
finally. Look at this thing. It is a monster. That tree does look pretty good, though. I'm actually kind of surprised. It felt messy while I was doing it, but you know what? I think it came out okay. That is a nice looking beginning to the build. That looks tremendous. Can light it up by pumping the bellows. That is a nice place to take a break, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's still so much more to go. I mean, look. Although, we are about halfway down the, the PDF. We're a little over a third down. It seems like this stuff will come together a little more easily, because there isn't as many... There aren't as many, like, you know, little piddly pieces here and there. All the little, like, uh, foliage detail pieces. I do envision the roof taking a while. Because the roof has all those, like, little dragon scale looking shingle pieces. So I think that's going to end up taking a while. But I think this is a good place. Let's see, how long am I streaming? Two and a half hours. That's a good place to stop it for now. I might stream more of this later tonight, or I might just do the rest of it tomorrow. 2.30? I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna feel it out. See how I feel. I might finish it today. Because then I can take the setup down. And have access to my computer again. Ah, alright. Well, hey, thanks everybody. Um, thanks for the birthday wishes. I will probably be back after I'm done eating. So, see you in a bit. Probably.